All right, what's up, everybody? It's another episode of Stand Tall. I'm almost over being sick. Uh, today is February 12th, and we're going to dive right in. We're in Chapter 7 of The Art of War Maneuvering, verse 12. We cannot enter into alliances until we are acquainted with the designs of our neighbors. So for me, that means we can't be friends until we know what other people's motivations are. We can't be partners until we know what each other's motivations are. And I think this goes to uh, where, whether it's business or friendship, you know, you, you are the books you read and the people you surround yourself with, right? So you want to surround yourself with, uh, you know, with people who are aligned with your goals. And so that's what it means, know thy neighbors. But let's go over to an alternate translation and find out what Master Sun says in that and what the reflections are. Master Sun says, so if you do not know the plans of your competitors, you cannot make informed alliances. Interesting. So not neighbors. Now it's competitors. Cow Cow says to this, you cannot make alliances unless you know the conditions, feelings, and plans of opponents. Dumu says, no, this means that you have to know competitors' plans before you can fight with them. If you don't know their strategy, you should certainly not do battle with them. Chin Hao says, both explanations make sense. They both talk about knowing the plans of opponents, and it does make sense. Either way, whether it is for friendliness or battle, knowing whether they're your potential allies or close competitors, knowing their plans is definitely going to be important um, because then you can make informed strategic decisions. All right, let's go over to February 12th out of the Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday and Stephen Hansel. Keep constant guard over your perceptions, for it is no small thing you are protecting, but your respect, trustworthiness, and steadiness, peace of mind, freedom from pain and fear, in a word, your freedom. What would you sell these things? For what would you sell these things? Epictetus Discourses 4.3.6b-8. The dysfunctional job that stresses you out, a contentious relationship, life in the spotlight. Stoicism, because it helps us manage and think through our emotional reactions, can make these kinds of situations easier to bear. It can help you manage and mitigate the triggers that seem to be so constantly tripped. But here's a question. Why are you subjecting yourself to this? Is this really the environment you were made for? To be provoked by nasty emails and an endless parade of workplace problems? Our adrenal glands can handle only so much before they become exhausted. Shouldn't you preserve them for life and death situations? So yes, use stoicism to manage these difficulties, but don't forget to ask, is this really the life I want? Every time you get upset, a little bit of life leaves the body. Are these really the things on which you want to spend your priceless resource, which is time? Don't be afraid to make a change, a big one. I think for me personally, that means a lot uh, in the sense of, of calming down and getting older and getting wiser um, you spend your youth, right? Like in high school, I had a lot of, I was a young man, um, and I would put holes in my drywall when I was 16 with a controller from, you know, an Xbox game that I get frustrated with. And it's like, looking back, those memories are kind of cringeworthy, but they're also growth moments, uh, to look back on and know, like, First of all, you know, this is this is what it's like to be a little boy and this is what it's like to have emotions and this is what it's like to be a teenager. And so those experiences within yourself do give you experience when it comes to parenting and knowing uh, how to handle certain situations. So they are valuable for that perspective, um, even if they are personal failures. Looking back, uh, they shouldn't be you shouldn't be so harsh on yourself. Um, and so to try to relate this to Sun Tzu's art of war. While while it's hard, I think that, you know, I think if you're going to look at your neighbor, look at your competitor, look at your opponent, um, it's it's good to know, too, that maybe you're you're more in control, right? To be to be stoic, uh, just like determining the strategy and determining what they know and what their plans are. Um, also, I mean, just knowing that, like when when people, uh, whether it's your employees or yourself or your children or whoever's in your life have and are capable of these moments of weakness, just like they're laying out in the art of, uh, in the daily stoic, um, you know, all of these impulses that, you know, stoicism does help with 
Same thing with the impulse to attack is what Sun Tzu is saying. He's saying slow down and study and know the plans before you make any rash decisions. So a little bit of patience can go a long way.